Welcome back, and greetings to you for 2022. Uh, a rhyme that probably hasn't been popular since 1922. But uh, it's windy, it's stormy, and it's cold. So, seems like a good time to see what we've got sitting on the desk. So, why don't we get started? Okay, well, let's take a look at what we were going to look at today. And that would be this Samson Historical Wax seal box set and this item again comes from samson historical which is a company in lebanon indiana and my mother saw this online and she thought knowing that i like wax seals and all things writing and fountain pens that she would buy this for me for my christmas gift and i'm very glad i got it it's the first item that i've ever had from samson it came very well packaged in a branded cardboard box and um, it, uh, yeah, it, I opened it up and I was pleasantly surprised at how, at how fine a piece this is. Now, Lebanon, not Lebanon, Samson Historical manufactures items that are documented reproductions. So that means the reproduction is either of a piece that has a blueprint or a, or a pattern, or they are actually reproducing an item that was, that, that they have that was actually in use in that period and they focus primarily on reproductions of items from 18th century colonial and revolutionary uh, United States and this is one of the items they also make a writing desk a traveler's writing desk a wooden writing box and I may have to after seeing this I may have to pick that one up because this is very nice it looks like it might be a uh, some kind of a walnut and uh, the box is finished very well it has these nice brass accents that go around the outside. The back is cut so that when you open the box, the box falls over 90 degrees so it won't fall shut. And as you can see, the hinges are, are uh, pinned into the box and uh, they are, the hinges are actually inletted into the box, into the wood, so there are no exposed screws. And uh, when you open it up, of course, there's a little tooth here that sits into this little hole that holds the box shut very well. It's not going to come open. And we find some items inside. There is a little handle with a star stamp on it. This stamp, this is recessed into this uh, brass. It's soldered in, and this is not coming off. It's not removable. And we also have a little dipper for melting the wax and a little 1700 style burner now uh, i actually had a burner like this a little bit bigger one it was a bigger one because uh, this is a very english style and uh, when uh, prince charles and lady diana were getting married they had some some uh, pieces that had been made for them and this is on par with the finest uh, lamps that i've seen it's very well made it's a, it's a nicely turned raw brass, and it is soldered. The top is soldered on, but it uses reverse threads. So if I take the top off to light the wick, which is a round wick, and go to put the cap back on, I will always, I don't have to worry about over tightening this seal because the reverse threads allow me to be able to break those threads open so that I'll always be able to open it up and be able to refill this with kerosene or uh, or uh, odorless lamp fluid. And these reverse threads sometimes are kind of tricky for me because I, I always want to turn them the wrong way. And this has a nice little, a nice little cutout here which holds the lamp very tightly so it's not going to bounce around. And uh, there's also this drawer on the side which I put my wax into and the the kind of wax that comes in these in these kinds of in these kinds of cases this would actually fit in there without being burned but the longer ones they won't fit in here unless you've used them a bit but I actually prefer to use these little hexagon wax and this would hold quite a bit of those 
if I were to want to travel with this. Now, I know that you're thinking you've got your own seals and your own dipper, maybe. It's nice to have the burner, but you don't necessarily need these items. And I was very pleased to find out that if I have my standard wooden handle, and it will fit three of my stamps in here. There's room for three stamps and the wooden handle. I've also got this larger metal handle, which, which also fits in here just fine. So there would be no issues with being able to pack this up and take it with me. So once again, this is uh, the Samson Historical Wax Seal Box Set from uh, Samson Historical, which is a an American company in Lebanon, Indiana, that makes documented reproductions of 18th century colonial revolutionary period items. And I thought you might like to see this, and uh, I thought I would share it with you and show it to you here. I'm feeling rather excited to be able to load this up and give it a try, so we'll, we'll see how that works out. But uh, I hope that you're all having a wonderful beginning to your and wonderful start to your new year and that I'll be seeing you again and uh, until then thanks for watching